What's up, Sasquatchers? It is Boxing Day. And uh, we got ourselves some winter sleeping bags. <laughs> uh, some winter sleeping bags. And uh, we're gonna test them out in this winter wonderland in the mountains, about two, three hours outside of Vancouver. So let's go. Might be wondering why I'm cleaning out this coffee cup. And uh, it's because I have no fuel for my stove. But the beauty of the stove that I have is that it can take any liquid combustible liquid. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up with gas, the gas station, and uh, we'll see how it goes. A few days ago, it snowed about two feet. So we got some fresh powder, utilize our snowshoes through, but at the same time, we don't have to break trail. So it's kind of nice. You can see even his toe prints in this. So where we are, there's a major rabbit habitat. And last time we were here, we saw, I don't know if it was Bobcat or Link, we saw their footprints pursuing a, a rabbit's footprint. So obviously there was a chase going on. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. I think that'd be pretty cool if we saw that. A bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> we are nearing our first of three peaks and the wind started to pick up a little bit uh, less trees and more snow okay we've made it to the first milestone of our trek it's about a 20 kilometer round trip 10 uphill 10 downhill on the way back so we're at our first milestone which is a bit of a, a little bit of a peak I'll show you in a minute and um, yeah we're gonna head up and around and uh, basically travel across this wide ridge and we're going up there you can't see the top because it's in the clouds but that's our goal for tomorrow tonight we're gonna end up hopefully somewhere in there where we have a little bit of tree coverage from the wind and we're not as exposed. So, we're gonna have a snack and then, uh, then we're gonna head out again. If you're looking for a good hiking snack, we found these, they're from It's pretty much just 100% banana, it's like fruit leather. It's hard with cold hands. And nails. Alright. And it's delicious. <sighs> if you can get into that. Holy frick. Bite it. You gotta bite it. A little bit frozen, but. OK, 
Okay, we found a spot in a little clearing in the trees, kind of tucked away from the wind. And we are almost at our second milestone. So right now we're just gonna stomp down a tent pad and try to make it flat and uh, we're gonna set up camp. set up now we're bundling up because it is freaking freezing yeah it's dipping down home sweet home it took a while to tie down the tent in the wind but very windy yeah. we're using a hiking pole on that side to get Ali's vestibule and I just use a stick on my side I guess it's time for dinner what do you think Time for a, a gourmet meal. <laughs> yeah. Pasta we, and hot sauce. Ah, oh, we brought pasta. And like, ah, oh, on the way to the the mountain, we'll just uh, we'll pick up some pasta sauce at the gas station. So we stopped off at the gas station, no pasta sauce. Went to another gas station, no pasta sauce. The only thing they had was hot sauce. So we're literally eating noodles and hot sauce. So keep us warm, right? Bone apple tea. <laughs> Got ice in our pot. Our little water bottles froze. My lips are kind of frozen. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that was a very mediocre dinner. Now uh, we're going to make some tea. Ali's gone into the tent. It's pretty cold out. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some tea in bed. Uh, just relax, keep warm. Mm, that is good tea. Nothing like hot tea on a cold night. Okay guys, we're all cozed up. And uh... Time for a movie. <laughs> we brought a movie. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Morning Sasquatchers, we survived the night. It was like 12 hours of darkness. <laughs> uh, so it's time to get up. Oh, then we're gonna pack up camp, put everything in our bags, hide our bags in the bush. Not that we're really worried about even taking them, but we'll stash our bags in the bush and then we'll head out further. But first, Ice tea, anyone? <laughs> Papa Joe, mountain style. Here we go, <laughs> mountain snow. You can tell he's very excited for some coffee. I'm excited for the day because 
we lost our view. <laughs> oh, we lost our view. <laughs> Turned into a whiteout actually, but we could see the peak and uh, we don't have to carry our heavy ass bags. So anyways, that's why I was all amped up about. In the coffee, of course. We are just boiling up some snow water. Uh, putting it in our bottle so that we have water for the day. It's a little brown and you know, it's got pine needles and lichen in it, but that's just extra micronutrients for us. So we're gonna boil this up, fill up our bottles and uh, just kind of relaxing right now. It's completely quiet. We're the only ones up here. And it's beautiful and relaxing. So yeah, we're gonna drop in our snowshoes and we got a little day pack, some water and snacks. And yeah, we're gonna head out. So let's go. That's where we were. We were just in those trees right there, tucked away. Perfect little spot. Next up is up there. And yeah, we came from all the way around that ridge. Right there was where we hit our first milestone last night. So yeah, we're doing all right. Gotta keep trucking though. Okay, now we're at the point of where we need to make a decision. So we can either go up there, which looks a little bit sketchy. <laughs> we're a little bit clumsy in our snowshoes. Our other option is up there. I think we're gonna go with up there. That ridge to that mountain is, looks very narrow and we're clumsy in snowshoes and- it's Avalanche territory. <laughs> yeah. So. Onward. The peak. We did it. Okay, guys, we made it. Weather's closing in on us, so it's time to take a couple photos and get the hell out of here before it's too late. So, wish us luck, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and thanks for Sasquatching.